layer. If you only got it about an inch, it's pretty easy to control an inch about right here, you know. Okay. And that way you can kind of keep it straight. If you get one that you're trying to graft that's got a hook on it, mm -hmm. then the hook might go over here, or it might go into the middle, or might come out the side, you know. Okay. So you, I try to get a straight piece and just graft it straight down. So, like that? Yeah. Okay. Show me that, Chris. Like that? That's a little bit long, but that, that's about an inch and a half. But that's okay. Well, we can. I, I, I'd, li I'd like to do it right the first time. Oh, right, right oh, here. You got this. Okay. There you go. Something like that. And then, okay. Now this one's a little straight. Yeah. So. Well, see, it, you this way. It looks oh, like it's got a bend. Okay, in it. so go for that way and then cut it right here on that so side. So I would put it like this here and, and just try to make sure this part is straight in, even though up here it's mm -hmm. bending away. Okay. Just so. make sure you put it in straight. <laughs> okay, after that demonstration by Jim Davis, now Chris Stratton is going to give it a trial and see how he can see, handle it. See, now Just what you're doing there mm -hmm. is uh, you're you're making this awful long, and it, once you get good at it, you just mm -hmm. go like that one slot, and it'll be right there. Okay. Now, see, you got it done like this, where where it's going to have to be grafted like that. Okay. All right. Instead of on the side, because you got the okay. thing where it's going to have to be stuck in there like that, because okay. you got the cambium layers going to match up with the side over here. Okay. Well, Tim, tell you what. Once you give me the clippers, I'll try that again. <laughs> I, I, I want to do this right the first time, actually. Just this cut is, the whole thing off. Let's cut the whole thing off. Just like that. And then start over. So we'll start over. this side and peel yeah, off the on the flat side on yeah. the flat side and do the cambium not that high okay. only about right there, right there okay. and just go one hard push like that and you get down into okay. oh you didn't get down in far enough yeah that looks good like that now yeah. hold up your finished product there you go okay and right to Eddie got it okay and then <laughs> See that? That not going to work. <laughs> You're way in there. I'm way in there. So See, the best thing to do here is just forget that one. Okay. Yeah, uh, cause but start right here mm. and see how my knife is angling a little bit there. Yep. Okay. Well, that's because if water does come out, mm -hmm. it lets it run off instead of this way oh, where okay. it holds it in there. Okay. All right. And so so you would make sure that that there is a little bit of a, a slant there where once you put the pad in that the water can just drip off the thing instead of being held in a little pocket which might cause it to rot a little bit. Okay, and then from there, <laughs> since you already got it open, do that move like this. Yeah, and just try to match up those two cam beam layers. And if this is if this thing is too much in your way, mm -hmm. just like I did on the other one, just cut it a little bit so it's so it's not in your way so much. Okay. So it can get a straight in shot. Say that straight in. Well, see, I can see right here that the pad is going. I mean, the thing is going right down, which might be okay too because. You know, as long as it's touching the cambium layer, mm -hmm. but you don't want to push it into the middle of the pan. Now, when you do something like that, can you take it out, reset, and then put it back down? Or probably do you have not. To, okay, you have to redo You'll the whole thing. You'll probably have to redo the whole thing because once you take it out, uh -huh. then the hole gets a little bit loose and sloppy. Oh, okay. And then, chances are, it won't have a good graft. Okay. So, now, when you open up an, a puncher like this, and let's say, you know, let's let's redo this whole thing like this, 
will that ruin the puncture pad or will it just disfigure? No, not normally, uh, but I wouldn't do it three or four times. Okay, so so make sure you got the practice for it. Yeah, and okay. then then you just get a piece of tie tape and tie it down there like that. Try to get it up a little bit. Okay. And see, here's the aerials. And so I try to keep it in between the aerials. Right here is a good right spot right there. there. Okay. And, and just tie it up tight and like that. And that pulls it, pushes the, the, the stem towards the front, which is where you want it. Okay. So just like that? Yeah. And then you just leave them on there. And that little gap right there is all right? Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, I, I'm enlightened because when I get home, guess I'm going to do a jeans a punching pad you guys sent me. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to practice. Perfect. Great.